Hey, what's up YouTube? Uh, this is Gary here again. I wanted to do a quick video on um, my uh, Rough Riders, my Heritage Rough Riders, my uh, two pair that I have here. I mounted these on my uh, one of my flags that I make. Uh, this is uh, uh, my three foot uh, flag that I burn and stain and engrave. And uh, I'm gonna be doing a time-lapse video on uh, how I make those. I also make um, just the burned ones without the without the blue and the red without the color. Uh, it's just strictly burned. <clears throat> um, so yeah, uh, more videos on those coming up. But um, yeah, it's about three foot wide, about eighteen inches tall. Um, I've maybe made probably I don't know uh, fifteen twenty of those fl these flags and. Um, and uh, but yeah, I'll be doing a time lapse video on on that, and uh, so there's just a quick view of that. But um, anyway, I uh, decided to um, you know I I'd been wanting to make my own flag for a while, and so <clears throat> you know I'd been selling and giving these flags away, and I thought to myself, well you know it's time for me to make one for myself, and I didn't want to just have a flag. I thought, well of course I'm going to make myself one, but I wanted it to be unique and special and different and I'd always wanted a pair of um, six shooters uh, a pair of revolvers and I wanted like a, a Ruger GP 100 or you know some fancy revolver that's like you know eight hundred thousand dollars you know but um, when it came down to it I was just like you know what I'd rather have a pair I'd rather have two of something and um, something that's really inexpensive and something that I just uh, can enjoy and uh, maybe give to my boys uh, someday. And so I came across the um, uh, the Rough Rider, the Heritage Rough Rider, and they're very inexpensive. You can get these probably from anywhere from 110 to 160 bucks. Uh, they're a 22 caliber. They're a, um, a single shot um, revolver, so you actually have to pull the hammer back every time you're going to fire this thing and uh, these don't have bullets in them I've already gone through and checked but uh, they do have a safety right here um, they do have a safety on it and um, you can change out the um, you can change out the cylinder to a uh, 22 mag um, that's an extra maybe 30 to 50 bucks depending on where you can get it or where you find it I think some of these actually come some of those come with it when you buy the gun uh, mine did not when I bought these they only came with the standard um, 22 long rifle cylinder so and then the grips on these you can you can interchange these grips um, they're super easy it's just one screw um, one screw basically holds both on and um, you can get these anywhere on Amazon, um, eBay, you know, um, gun broker. So, uh, but I decided to um, mount these onto this flag using these 30 out six shells and also some magnets. You can see there's a magnet there and, and a magnet on the back of the other one, just to kind of help hold it on there um, a little bit better when it's on the wall. Um, it's a very nice display. I thought it turned out really great. I wanted the crisscross revolvers displayed on this flag like so, and uh, so I, I, I made that happen. And um, I thought it turned out great. I really like just the whole look of it. I love these guns. Like I said, very inexpensive, very uh, cost effective, and uh, very fun to shoot. I, they make this, the shorter barrel, I think like a four inch. These are the six, gosh, I want to say six and a quarter inch barrels on these. And um, they make even, I think a, I think they make this with a 16 inch barrel too. I think I saw one when I went to go get these here. Uh, I bought one uh, first and then I went back and got the other um, a week or two later. And um, yeah, I uh, the grips um, on these were a little bit different. One was more of an orangish kind of color to it, so I only had to buy one set of grips to match the other, and so that cost me maybe an extra twenty bucks, which was no big deal. Um, yeah, and swap those out, and uh, 
yeah, just a, a really good pair of um, revolvers there. I think they look great on here. I think they're fun to shoot. Again, I think my boys love them. You know, they, they always want to take them down and play with them. And, um, you know, and, and uh, but obviously, you know, we want to uh, be careful with that and make sure we don't, you know, lose them or, you know, no one gets hurt. So we always, um, you know, make sure that there's no, no bullets in them. And um, they're pretty much just for display. I mean, I will shoot them and, and have, and um, they will be um, fired. But um, for the most part, they're, I just wanted something real to display. I didn't want any fake guns on, on, on a flag. And um, So there you have it. I'm, I'm able to keep this in my uh, basement on the wall which is um, a really nice way to display this. Um, these are the only guns that I do not keep in my gun room. And again, I will be doing a video on that at some point. Um, so, but uh, just not quite yet. But I just wanted to uh, show you guys these, and tell you what I think. Again, they're just a, uh, it's just a great, uh, just a great little revolver, you know. Um, what else can I say about it besides it uh, fits good in the hand? Uh, not a lot of people like the old school revolvers, uh, but I think it's just a it's just a classic look. It's a classic style, and um, you know I think at some point it'd be cool to get a nice pair of leather holsters, you know. But I'm sure my boys would want so something like that <clears throat> if I were going to give these to them or something. Um, yeah, but again, right there displayed on the on the wood flag. Um, I really, really think it turned out great. I like uh, this flag. I don't do a lot of the, the blue and red stained ones. They're mostly the uh, just the black um, burned uh, flags. Um, but I wanted this one to be colored while I displayed these uh, revolvers <clears throat> on this one. And uh, yeah. I think it turned out great. I hope you guys like this. I hope you guys like the flag, the guns, the whole display here. Um, this is something that um, I've been wanting to do, like I said, for a while since I was making flags for a lot of people. And like I said, I sold a couple and gave some away and as gifts for like family and friends. And I said, it's time to time to make myself a flag. So finally did and, um, and went out and got myself a pair of these uh, Heritage Rough Riders. So Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned for more. Uh, we got more coming out for you real soon. You guys have a good one.